I was recently asked by a couple of people what ablation was for my last video and I realized I never actually explained it. So I'm going to attempt to explain it in this video as I get ready, um, really just get dressed for the day. And I normally don't wear makeup on the weekends or if I'm not going anywhere, but um, my fiance is going to come back today at some point and it's always fun to dress up a little bit and be like, hi. Uh -uh. <laughs> Anywho, off topic. Um, so ablation is basically a procedure where they go in and did in the nerves called causing pain or chronic pain. Um, I have, in addition to my chronic pelvic pain, I also have um, chronic neck and chronic back pain. Now, my pelvic pain came from um, my horrendous birth experience, which at some point we will delve into that. Um, but my neck and back pain came from a car accident I got about got into about a year after my daughter was born. And now it's been over a year since then. I'm still in a lot of pain most days. Um, so, anywho, after many, many appointments with many different doctors and specialists and um, many different treatment options and some, you know, some better than others, um, I was finally able to be approved to get ablation. And I think it's really... Oh, I think I'll survive. One thing about me, I will never make a makeup tutorial video or like, oh, look how awesome I can put my makeup on because I can't. I cannot put my makeup on awesome. I'm just doing the best I can as quick as I can while having a two year old and many, many other things to do. Um, but yeah, so finally, um, after several different treatments, I was approved to get ablation and I think they don't give it to you right away because, uh, well, probably insurance, but also because um, they want to make sure that they've tried less intense forms, I guess, of uh, treatment. Um, I don't really need to do all this. I keep forgetting that I'm not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, so they're like, yeah, we're going to do ablation. Now, ablation is actually two parts, in my opinion. One part is where they're like, hey, we gotta go in before your actual ablation appointment and find a nerve that's causing you the issue. And then you're like, okay, cool, no problem. And so then they do that and it's incredibly painful. Like it was so painful, I was, I was crying and it was awful. Like <laughs> it's like they go into the neck with the needle and if they hit the nerve and it causes all the pain then awesome they found the right spot and if it doesn't cause that much pain then I guess maybe that's not the right spot um so right off the bat they hit the right spot I was in a lot of pain um and they sent me on my way and scheduled my ablation appointment so I go in for my ablation and the first thing they do is give me some heavy duty medication so I'm like oh man either it's about to hurt uh while doing the ablation or it's going to hurt a lot after the ablation uh, but I try not to psych myself out because my PTSD it, it comes from um I think in my personal opinion I think it started a little bit before um I had my daughter like after deployment I kind of had some PTSD associated with it in my opinion but it really went crazy after I had my daughter because the things that happened to me were just so terrifying, it never really went away. Um, and so one of my triggers is doctors and um, like healthcare facilities, and if, especially if they're military, especially if they're military. And thankfully my Blasian people are civilians, um, but still going to the medical facility, getting into this room, into this robe, onto this bed and you know, having people do things to you and hoping everything comes out okay. So when they gave me that medicine, I was like, just don't even ask questions. You don't want to psych yourself out, go in there, you know, get it done. 
So I was like, okay, cool. So I went in there. I saw the setup. I saw the bed. If you if you saw the last video, you saw the setup also. And I was just like, I don't want to do this. Um, <clears throat> but I also felt like I couldn't. I couldn't just quit because I want to be an active participant in my life and in my daughter's life and. I don't feel like I get to do that with all of the pain that I experience on a daily basis. So if there's an opportunity for me to feel better or get better, um, I really try to overcome the fear I may have um, and just do the dang, the, <laughs> the dang thing. So <clears throat> I'm in there. <clears throat> in the room i take off my top put the little robe on and i get on the bed <clears throat> um the doctor comes in and the first thing they do is put lidocaine all over the area <clears throat> they inject lidocaine all over the area um that they're going to be doing the ablation and lidocaine is a numbing agent I'm pretty familiar with it. I've been having lidocaine <laughs> since before my daughter was born. When I was pregnant with her, I'm pretty sure they told me to put lidocaine down there, lidocaine gel, because there's this thing called lightning crotch, which again, in another video, we can talk about that. Um, but yeah, so I'm very familiar with lidocaine. It's never really, I never thought it was that good, but I used it just in case. And so as he's injecting the lidocaine in me, I'm like, there is no way. This is going to take away my pain, um, but whatever, let's just be positive. And one pain, t um, pain relief tactic I've learned in IOP and with other different um, professionals is when you know they're about to inject you, for instance, inhale. And then when you feel that injection, it, hold the inhale, bring it all the way in and then exhale so if whenever i get my blood drawn or i do like my um my ketamine infusions any kind of treatment and i know it's probably gonna cause me some pain i just start practicing my breath work and it sounds so maybe so hippie or so silly but it actually helps a little bit so when he was going in with the lidocaine and i just kept doing that over and over and over again and um and then at that point he was like we're going to inject the needle it's a very tiny needle um you will feel it but it shouldn't be that bad it shouldn't be that bad and uh he's like you also feel it burning but i'll let you know ahead of time when that's about to happen so i'm like okay so he puts it in i feel it it hurts it starts burning first is okay but it gets hotter and hotter and next thing i know i'm just kind of like it feels like so i got the ablation on the side of my neck so it went straight up into my head into my temple i felt like that was going to explode i felt it go into my shoulder down into my back it was awful and i'm just breathing like a lunatic <laughs> um so we do that and maybe maybe two minutes total as long as it took um and they have this x-ray machine so they're like verifying where they're injecting and so on and so forth and then yeah finally it was over and i was very tender tender in those areas um that i felt the injection side note i really love this blush i only just came across them i think i bought this at marshall's maybe and it's called rude by peanuts and it's a plush cream blush so if you're into that i just love it it's really pretty <laughs> it's my favorite blush um so then i was in pain after that and i was like okay no big deal you know ice pack heat nah, i don't know heat's tricky though because sometimes it i don't know to me sometimes it makes it worse and he was like okay so you may feel this pain for a few days up to a week and then it'll go away and then he was like um and then your relief you should have a noticeable relief in four to six weeks and i'm like four to six weeks that's a really long time for such like a painful procedure but i actually feel a little bit better than i would normally now so i'm i'm counting it as a win 
I hope it only gets greater from here. And yeah, that's pretty much inflation. Um, once the, well, once we see the results of this one, I think I'll have the option to do it on the other side of my neck and then potentially down in my lower back. So I'll make sure to document those videos as well um, for anybody who would like to see. I'm so excited to have my channel up finally after years and years and years of thinking and wanting to do something like this. I have so much <clears throat> content I want to share with you guys. Um, specifically, if you look at my YouTube channel description, it's pretty much everything in those categories. So if you guys have any questions, comments, um, comment below, let me know. And yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready so I can greet my man.